Hey everyone, my name is Kevin and I'm the lead developer here at WP Codus. Today I'm going to go over our latest plugin, WP Proposals, and kind of show you the functionality and also how to get started. So once you have the plugin installed, go ahead and navigate to WP Proposals from your dashboard. And to get started, we recommend going to settings here and going through the company details, entering your information, logo, uh, who you want your uh, emails to be sent from, also default subject messages, and also the notifications that you want to receive when your client uh, approves your proposal. You can also go through design and brand it to your, uh, brand everything to your, your brand or style. Um, but you can also go to miscellaneous here, disable and enable some features. And if you want to customize the default text of the plugin, you can do that here as well. To get started, we're just going to go ahead and add a new client. We're going to name this client jargon for demo purposes, and we'll just do jargon at clientemail.com. Phone number and addresses, this is just for your record, so we aren't required to have this. So we're going to go ahead and hit add. Next, we're going to go over to all proposals, and we're just going to go ahead and create a brand new one. All right, so once we're here, we're going to enter in the proposal name, and usually I prefer it to as the business that uh, we are sending the proposal to, so let's name it jar, Jargon here. Um, let's see here. And then next we are going to select the client that we want, which is Jargon. If you have an invoice um, that you want to redirect to after the proposal has been submitted, you can just simply paste it here. If you don't have an invoice already created, it'll just give them a nice confirmation message saying thank you, we're excited to work from you, which you can customize in the settings as well. So I do have some demo text here. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste in, and we're just gonna say, hey, Jargon. This is gonna be the introduction text. Um, next, we're gonna have the scope of services. And again, I just have some dummy text I'm gonna fill in here. And here we're gonna go over our different services that we offer. The first service that we offer is going to be research. So we wanna do research on their company. The next one is the design. Uh, we go through our design process, uh, whether it be branding, web development. The next portion is just development, and this talks about our develop, uh, the development functionalities and kind of how we run things through CWS and uh, the CMS that we use, uh, WordPress and things like that. And the last one is going to be testing, saying that once we finish everything, we're going to test it, and then it's launch time. Uh, additional recommendations, this is good if you have other services that you want to recommend, um, sometimes, for example, like copywriting, if that's not a service that you include in your web proposals, then it's a nice little upcharge. The next section is timeline. Um, here we just kind of break down our services and how long we kind of expect it's going to take to, uh, to build out. So we'll just add some quick demo stuff here. So, you know, the research phase, we say it's going to take about one to two weeks. The design phase, well, let's say it takes two weeks. And then the web development phase, this is a smaller site, so we'll say two to four weeks. Uh, investment, this is gonna be the part where it breaks down all of your services into different pricing categories and things like that. So we're gonna paste some dummy text in here. And let's just say for the research section, uh, section we're gonna say it costs 1200 and fifty dollars um, for design. Let's say we charge two hundred, two thousand five hundred, and then web development. We're gonna say this one's gonna be seven thousand five hundred. So once you add all that, it's gonna calculate the total here. And let's go back up to see what else we can do. All right, and we're just gonna add a featured image to this um, proposal. We just got some demo content, and we're gonna hit publish. So now once you publish the proposal, you're going to have a section that pops up that says send proposal here. This, you can see that it automatically pulls, we chose the client jargon, and it automatically pulls his address that we want to send the client, uh, the client's email that we want to send the proposal to. You can also add a second one, so we could say jargon2 at clientemail.com, and it will send both. The default content here, so email subject, email message, this can all be set as default within the settings. We added it here in case you want to personalize it for each individual client. So let's go ahead first and just view 
a proposal. So you can see jargon, proposal presented by your business name. You can also have your logo here. Introduction, scope of services, additional recommendations, your timeline, uh, your investment, so it breaks down your services. Research costs 1250 your total amount, and go ahead and approve proposal. So we're just going to say we're going to approve this proposal. So now that we have approved it, the client will get a, we are honored to, to get the pleasure to work with you. This is all customizable in the settings as well. Now, let me pull up my emails and we can just kind of go through the emails that we've received. Let me go through here. So once the client has approved the proposal, you will get an email notification saying, congratulations. Uh, the proposal has been approved by name the time and how much. The client will also get an email that we sent. So let's say just for text purposes, says we are going to change this to our email so we can get a notification on it. Hit send proposal. And you'll see proposal is successfully sent to email. Let me pull my emails up again real quick here. And since we, since we sent it to our email, we will be getting that. Typically it would go to the to the client. All right, and then this is the email that the client will get. It has your introduction text and also a button that they can click to go view the proposal. And that is how you use WP Proposals. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at contact at WPCODIS.com. Otherwise, you can visit our website and go to our support form and fill that out. Thank you.